Welcome back, everyone. All new tonight at 5.30, a warning for pet owners after a carefree swim for three dogs ended with them dying less than 24 hours later. Dogs in at least three states have died this month after swimming in water contaminated with toxic blue-green algae. Pretty scary, yeah. to say the least. The toxic algae can be found all over the U.S., including right here in Connecticut. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino talked with a veterinarian about what dog owners need to be on the lookout for. Mike, what did you learn? Well, uh, Mark and Aaron, this blue-green algae can affect waters even here in Connecticut. I mean, just look at Lake Pocatapog here in East Hampton. Uh, these toxins can work very quickly, just a matter of minutes. And so that makes early detection crucial. A refreshing swim can seem like a great way to cool off during the summer, whether you're a person or a dog. But health officials are warning pet owners, if the water is unsafe for you, it's probably unsafe for your pets. People need to know about this. Like, I mean, like I said, if we had any clue that this was a thing, they would have never come. I had no idea. And then once we got to the emergency vet last night, they also weren't sure. Melissa Martin and her friend brought their three dogs to swim in a North Carolina pond last Thursday. But within 15 minutes of the swim, one of those dogs had a seizure. They rushed all three dogs to an emergency animal hospital, but all three died. Officials are blaming a toxic form of blue-green algae, and Martin and her friend are not alone. Last week, a dog died in Austin, Texas, and just this past Thursday, a dog in Georgia. James Tipton, a specialty intern with Piper Veterinary Emergency and Specialty in Middletown, says pets can die to toxins very quickly, so noticing symptoms immediately is crucial. Um, but it's usually really quickly, and you know, early identification is, is key for these, for these cases. Along with seizures, other common symptoms include vomiting or diarrhea, excessive salivating or other secretions, and muscle weakness. Blue-green algae can occur even here in Connecticut. A beach at Lake Pocatapog in East Hampton has been closed to swimming for two weeks after testings found high levels. But it's also not always toxic in normal circumstances, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, there have been no reports of... Now, there have been no reports of swimmers or dogs getting sick here at Lake Pocatapog, but some warning signs of when water is unsafe include foul smells or water that is green, blue, or brown. Of course, if you're not sure if it's safe, it's probably best not to go in. Live from East Hampton, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.